Simona, uh, we have just been hearing that the, the, those people gathered outside the US Embassy have been ordered to withdraw. What more information do you have at this point? Uh, well, that is correct. Uh, our uh, contact on the ground who works for the Popular Mobilization Forces said that the leadership uh, issued an order for those crowds uh, to withdraw. Now, uh, it didn't look like that when I was there just uh, 30 minutes ago. There were still supplies arriving, mattresses, cooking utensils uh, for uh, the crowds that had camped out overnight as they laid siege to the U.S. Embassy. So it looked like they were preparing uh, to dig in their heels and to stay for a long time. One of the people I spoke to told me we will stay here until we feel uh, that uh, the American government is respecting us and giving us our rights. And another person said that uh, we will uh, actually stay here until uh, the American troops withdraw from Iraq. Now, of course, uh, the, it, it depends all on uh, who is issuing the orders to leave. If it is the Iraqi government that is asking them to leave, uh, those orders are unlikely to be heeded. If it is uh, senior leadership of the Popular Mobilization Forces, because uh, maybe some kind of deal has been struck between the PMF and the government, uh, then we're likely to see uh, the gradual departure of those crowds. Um, and, and, and Simona, what does this whole episode say about who is in charge at the moment? Who has the upper hands when it comes to Iraq? Well, it's pretty clear from the events yesterday and also today that uh, it was the Popular Mobilization Forces and their leadership who were calling uh, the shots. Uh, what is difficult to say uh, is how uh, much support uh, these events had from the Iraqi government. Of course, in the public domain, we heard statements from uh, Prime Minister Adel Abdel Mahdi condemning the attack on the U.S. Embassy and asking for those crowds uh, to leave. But it's difficult to say whether uh, that is the actual stance of the government or whether this is just an official statement to uh, appease, for example, the United States presence here, uh, or whether this is actually something that the government uh, really believes in, because from what we saw on the ground was Iraqi security forces standing down, letting uh, these crowds of uh, members and supporters of popular mobilization forces pass right through the checkpoints, uh, enter the fortified green zone uh, and attack the U.S. embassy without any intervention whatsoever. Now, even today, uh, we could see an increased presence of Iraqi security forces, but they were still uh, not taking any action to really remove those crowds. They were just uh, standing by, they were monitoring the situation, uh, but they had not been given any orders to really put an end to that siege. So all of this suggests that uh, it was the popular mobilization forces who were really uh, in charge and uh, who were essentially uh, setting uh, the, the stage here and basically, uh, you know, telling the government, uh, you know, what uh, what will happen with these crowds. And uh, it is pretty clear that the Iraqi government uh, either uh, does not have the capability to resist or does not have the p political will to do so. OK, Simona Fultin, for now, thank you very much indeed for bringing us those latest developments coming out of Baghdad.